they were 10 pounds like are you dumb hey lovelies welcome back to my channel i am back with another bougie on a budget video this time i'm bringing you guys a luxury dupe haul so you guys know i love anything and everything that is bougie on a budget i like to look expensive on a budget i found some luxury shoes and some clothing items which were dupes of some of the designer brands that you love that i love so i bought them in a full let me share with you guys um in the form of shoes and clothing but mainly luxury shoe dupes so if that's something that you're interested in then keep on watching if you haven't been here before my name is lorraine and my channel is lorry lux i focus on fashion luxury lifestyle and travel so if you love that too and i hope that you do then please subscribe to my channel and also press that notification bell so every single time i upload a video you are automatically notified the first pair that i actually have to show you are these perspex heels so they've got an embellishment here at the top and they are mules and the heel is clear as well and it's got sort of a flat bottom as you can tell so if you don't already know these are inspired by the begum um crystal embellished amina muadi heels which i absolutely adore Door. I, I'm gonna pop a picture or some kind of video um, while I'm talking so you can see which ones I'm talking about. Now the Amina Muadi heels um, are currently retailing for £700 which is a whole lot of coins. Now I absolutely love them. I love all her heels. They're so different. They're so chic. So when I saw these I just absolutely had to get them. Now I bought these from Ego and they cost about um, £30 which is obviously not nothing compared to the £700 for the retail price of the Muadi, um, Amina Muadi heels. So yeah, if you like the look of these, I would definitely recommend that you check out Ego because they do have loads of dupes for designer brands. Even the Mu Amina Muadi heels, they've got different styles of those as well, which are very nice and very inspired. I wore these um, recently, not recently, I was a while ago with like, like a blue set really casual set and i feel like these um really dressed them up and made the outfit a bit more casual glam these white square toe um kitten heels i absolutely love these i wasn't much of a fan of square toed but i absolutely love these i love the sort of toe detail here and with kitten heels you either love them or hate them like for me, it depends on the shoe, to be honest, and I love these. Now, these are dupes for the Bottega Veneta leather sandals, so they don't really look exactly the same, which is something that I really love about dupes. It doesn't have to be like a replica. The Ego heels are a bit replica-ish, um, but not so much, whereas these are just inspired. There's so many Botte Bottega Veneta inspired heels. The Bottega Veneta woven style heels, you can get them from Manga, you can get them from Topshop, you can get them from Zara. I got mine from ASOS a little while ago. I actually wore them um, at the end of last year when I went to Greece and you know they're really really nice um, daytime look. You can wear them with jeans. I feel like they would actually go with the outfit that I'm wearing at the moment. I wore them with like a really cute summer dress and it really just elevated the look and because they're kitten heels very very comfortable um, and you can walk as far as you want to. I believe these were £30, which are not too expensive, compared to the Bottega Veneta um, leather sandals, which I believe retail for £465, if I'm not mistaken. So that is a pretty penny. And for me, I do really, I love Bottega Veneta, and I feel like they're really on trend, and there's such hype um, on it at the moment. But that is, that's, that is the thing, they're really, really trendy. Will they be in fashion in two to three years time? I'm not sure. If you have that disposable income just to get them shoes anyway because you love them, just go ahead. But if you're not too sure and you just wanna see if you like that kind of style anyway, 
I would recommend that you get yourself a luxury dupe because then you can test out to see if you actually like the shoe and then you can splurge on the designer um, brand if you wish to. The next um, luxury dupes are actually clothing. The first one that I actually have to show you is this blazer and it looks like this. It doesn't have a collar, it's collarless, it is black and kind of goes inside on the sides here and it gives me like Balenciaga hourglass blazer vibes but not really like I bought mine from and other stories because on the website it, they also called it an hourglass blazer and I think it retailed for like over a hundred pounds um I just happened to go on the website and it, there was a sale going on and I got it for like £40, which is such a bargain. I even got like a, um, a size that was slightly smaller. So it was slightly snug, but like not unwearable. Like I can wear it, I can make it work. But I was slightly disappointed when I, when I got it because it wasn't as, hours, as hourglass as I thought that it was going to be. Uh, it's a stunning blazer, don't get me wrong. I love the fact that it doesn't have a collar, so it makes it more chic. But I really wanted the um, Balenciaga Hourglass dupe. Um, the other blazers that they have on the website appear to go in a bit more on the sides and really give the Hourglass vibe. They also have the um, Hourglass coats, which again, you know, if you know the Balenciaga um, Hourglass coat, stunning. But I think those have sold out. They do have like a checked detail one, which is a bit, the colors are a bit out there and is not my style so I won't be getting it but you can keep checking the website to see if they they'll really stock it if you love it the next pair of dupes I have to show you are a pair of boots and these are these black boots from Zara now these edgy kind of boots have been really coming back in, um, into fashion when it comes to sort of luxury so there's the Prada ones which have the patches on them the, the Louis Vuitton ones there's obviously the um, Fendi Rococo black leather ones I have the Louis Vuitton desert boots on my wish list and I will definitely definitely get them at some point my, my words however I saw these black boots and I just fell absolutely in love with them because they just looked so so stunning so these are the black boots that I got from Zara so they have a leather detail here at the front and then also at the back um, but they also have like a sock detail in the middle, which I absolutely, absolutely loved. These remind me of the Fendi Leather Rococo um, boot so, so much. Like literally they're the same, but the only difference is obviously the Fendi have the Fendi logo and have a bit of brown on them as well. But they, they, they're literally, I very excellent dupes I believe they also remind me of the Doc Martens like I've always wanted to get Doc Martens but everyone that I, every review that I've seen on YouTube about them has said how uncomfortable they are how you really have to break them in for a long time how heavy they are and I am not about that lie like when I'm getting a boot like I'm getting it because I want to be warm and I'm getting it because I want to be comfortable so that really 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 put me off for like um a pair of boots that's over a hundred pounds I need my comfort so I've always hesitated but these remind me of Doc Martens mine is the sock boot I absolutely love these I got them for Zara they were like 50 pounds which is a bit pricey for boots but just because of the style of them i absolutely just love them i am going to be styling them with like maybe dresses or skirts just to sort of soften up the boots a little bit i've been seeing a lot of that style recently like people wearing dresses like satin skirts and wearing boots with the, with the outfit um i'll probably wear something like a mini midi dress, midi dress Next, or something like dupes are actually uh, a couple of t-shirts I stumbled upon a brand called The Frankie Shop, which I absolutely loved the look of. I saw some t-shirts on there, which just looked really, really nice. So they were called the shoulder pad muscle t-shirt. They had like an exaggerated shoulder pads here, like really, really giving me 80s vibes. 
when I saw them on the website, they were actually sold out. They retailed for about £79 or £89. I'm not too sure. So they were really, really, really expensive for a t-shirt, honey. So anyway, I was scrolling on Nasty Gal and I stumbled upon the dupes of this muscle t-shirt and I absolutely died because not only were they there, but they were on sale. I bought two of them. I bought them in the white and it looks like this. Like, as you can tell, like at the top here, it has the shoulder pad effect on the inside, on both sides. On the side here, it comes down again. Now, these ones are a bit shorter, which they look a bit crop toppy, but they're not. They're longer than a crop top, if you can see from the side here. So they're longer than a crop top and they were 10 pounds. Like, are you dumb? I think this will look so, so stunning with some kind of skinny jeans, like um, blue, light blue wash denim or like a dark, what, dark gray denim and some clear heels. Like I said, I got them in the black as well. So this is the one that I originally got on its own and it's the black one. I bought it in a size four. That's how crazy I am, like where? How am I a size four? Please, 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 how am I a size four? But it was the only one that was left and I was like, well, I'll see. Right, so the next pair of luxury dupes that I have to show you that I've bought are these white sandals. What's that on there? Yeah, are these white sandals with sort of multicolored um, pom-poms on, on the front strap here. They also have a tie detail on them and they also have like pom-poms um, on there as well. So these are dupes for the Aquazura pom-pom sandals, which I absolutely love. They also give me Sophia Webster vibe. So the Sophia Webster, we're not exactly like this, but she also has like pom-poms on her heels as well. She also has some kind of like butterfly effect, stunning. These will be perfect, perfect for spring and for summer if you're just sort of wearing like a normal black outfit or a white outfit and then you just put these on like brunch vibes these are absolutely so cute i just think if you just want to be a bit more girly they're really really cute i got mine from public desire and i believe they were like 30 pounds as well and again not too expensive i'm not too sure how much the aquazura um heels retail for um but i think it's definitely under 400 pounds it's still a lot of money, don't get me wrong. So uh, when I saw these dupes, I thought, I'm gonna go get them. I hope you've enjoyed that video, guys, and you've liked the luxury dupes that I've shared with you guys. Let me know in the comment section down below what luxury dupes you want me to show you guys. What was your favorite um, dupe that I showed you from this haul? What dupes do you guys know? This is a community. We can't all learn. As always, please give me a thumbs up if you've enjoyed this video. And if you've come through all this way, first of all, thank you very much. Please subscribe to my channel. I would really, really appreciate it. Appreciate it. Please have a lovely day, night, evening, wherever you are. And I'm going to see you back here in my next video. Bye, guys.